Hello everybody, Dave Shopius here. Welcome to my robot lab. Well, what we have here today is um, pretty much a finished arm mechanism for a B9 robot. Been talking about this in other pictures and posts and, uh, and videos. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you what I've done here. Uh, my biggest problem I had trying to figure out how to handle the um, the wiring that pot that's got to go out in and out with the um, with the carriage and the claw um, and I decided to use a um, they call that a drag chain it, it hooks in there and I'll give you an example in a little bit but basically it um, it's just a plastic chain I picked up on um, on Amazon it uh, it's made for like 3d printers and it, it works kind of like this um, the wires go through it and then as the position moves up on top it goes back and forth and gives you your slack in the wires so that turned out to be a pretty good way to do this <clears throat> um, the front of this whole unit is Robert Rossi's uh, claw they open and close and they turn back like this and they actually will pivot back and forth so it's a pretty good pretty good setup here I like what Robert did with this um, this is all his to his invention here too uh, where I pick up with my um, little contraption and invention is from here back and all of this so this is a uh, drive this this is a lead screw in here so the drive unit is actually uh, attached to a set of uh, under mount cabinet drawers um, so drawer slides and it's powered by a um, Actobots Act, uh, robot zone from Sol Solar City <laughs> Servo City. I don't know if you can get that or not, but it's uh, it's uh, a 12 volt motor, and uh, the uh, positioning is controlled by you see here. There's a um, limit switch here and a limit switch right there. So basically that's a quick overview of it uh, a lot of these parts come from Servo City this is their uh, their their X I forget what it's called their X bar um, but um, it's it's got a little carrot that slides up and down here and the bottom is attached so I, I will uh, get to that in a minute so I'm gonna set this this thing up on a um, this camera up on a tripod and show you how it mounts into the hole of the B9 robots or torso, okay? Be right back, don't go nowhere. Okay, you might be wondering how this arm is going to get in that little hole. Uh, it actually works pretty good. Uh, to do it, I have to turn it upside down. You see there's um, there's screw, screw or bolts sticking out down here that will match up with holes I have in this this little wing hanging off the CSS. Uh, later on I'll take this this torso off and we'll see it all bare and how it mounts in there But basically it fits very good. You got to turn it upside down this design and um, Of course I still have to put plugs on here <laughs> That'll be all neat and tidy, but basically just put it in a, I just put it in like that just kind of work it in Like so and um, get it all the way to the back. I promise you it works. And then I swing it around and then drop it into the holes just like that. And there's there's wing nuts that attach underneath here to hold it on to that wing. So and you can see um, how nicely it, it sits in there. Let me zoom in here. 
Got it nice and centered. Uh, my shelving in there is adjustable if I need to give it any kind of uh, any more room up and down. But for the most part, uh, Will Hoff's rubber arms will sit in here, and when it comes out, everything will expand expand nicely. So um, this, uh, you can see, these are works very nice. The only thing is missing is an elbow back here but um, didn't uh, didn't do that don't have the technology and the skill yet for that on this setup <clears throat> so I will uh, step away and get the torso off and get it all on there and we'll come back and I'll show you how it works on the power in and out okay don't go away okay I'm back uh, that little break took me a, no more than five minutes or so uh, this design is so incredibly easy to pull out of the, the arms out of the torso and get these wings off of there that it is uh, it, it just slides out and unbolt and these wings pop right off um, and I've also got stanchions on them here you can see so um, I said before that um, I'm still working on getting the rear end of this thing wired up I got got to put some Molex plugs in here basically what I have here is is the um, control wires for the servos there's three of them up in the up in the front here one open and close one to turn back and forth and another servo to rotate the arm or the, the claw uh, again Robert Rossi did an awesome job of figuring this out and offering it as a kit. Um, then that's what these wires are for here and then I have these wires here are for the um, for the limit switches here and here and then of course the um, encoder wires for this uh, motor which is uh, mounted on the back of this motor and then the uh, power wires. I'm going to be controlling this motor in the in and out function with a saber tooth and kangaroo can, uh, combination. I think that's the best way to do this. It'll give me speed and precision and it'll be very smooth. Um, so let me zoom out again and um, I can see I was trying to show you something that I was out of camera for. Um, basically to recap what I was talking about is I was just talking about the servos uh, how the wires come up into here and um, you can see how I've got them maybe you can see you got the, you got three servos you got you got your rotation you got your back and forth and you got your open and close so without further ado I'm going to run this guy out now and uh, Hopefully, you'll see how nicely it works. It's just hooked up now in and out with a, with a battery, so here it goes. And when it hits the little switch, it'll stop, or the kangaroo will stop it once they have it all wired up. And then back in. Hits the limit switch and it stops. Well, I took it off, but that's the idea. Um, okay, um, I am going to take the camera off the tripod, tripod and uh, run it off for a little bit and just give you a view of some of these components. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Okay, when I was talking about the wings, I was talking about those, and I kind of covered this in one of my other videos. Um, I added those stanchions to it, and um, basically, you can see that uh, those just clamp underneath the uh, the bars, and then uh, there's holes drilled on uh, in the proper spots to handle. The uh, these these uh, bolts that are threaded through from the drawer slides. 
and that's just mounted all mounted on a piece of aluminum two drawer slides mounted on a piece of aluminum and cut down to the proper light length so and that just that'll just slide upside down through the hole and just drop right into those holes the torso hole see how nice that is and then wing nuts will hold that on you can kind of see how uh, there's not a lot of clearance here um, so everything had to be measured just right it sits in there nicely so and then all my wiring had to be put in so it wouldn't pinch and still have um, proper clearances for all the swinging that needs to be done just this way works pretty good so and then I've adapted it uh, some servo city brackets I've adapted to uh, to the end of the drawer slides and this is the the snout of this X X bar I guess it's called that um, that the lead screw this is a highly machined it's not a it's not a threaded rod it's a lead screw so it's very smooth there's like like four different different threads on there per per turn um, and it goes through a pillow block and this just supports it down to the drawer slide and uh, here let me try to run this out a little bit without blowing a fuse you can see kind of how it works all right that uh, that little carriage is, is all bolted down to the top of the drawer slide so just like a drawer this stays in place along with the the bottom and the screw runs it out until it gets to the end so that's how that works now the other cool thing is that um, <laughs> I don't know if I can do this without uh, blowing a fuse I want to show you that that um, let's see the drag chain in there see how that show you how that works be patient with me and I'll try to get this to retract you can hopefully see how that works in there or not but anyway basically that thing just just uh, takes up the slack for all this all this extra wire that's that's going in and out with with the uh, claws so anyway that's uh, my contraption I have a little bit more adjusting to do you might have heard it was a little noisy and um, squeak here and there but uh, for the most part it's ready it's ready to go I can start uh, once I get the the kangaroo and everything set up and it working on its own through the computer I'll come back and show it to you okay how it's all working and um, hopefully after that I can get started on the other arm which wouldn't be too bad it's not, once I get this design this should go pretty fast okay alright thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it bye